And let's talk about closing today since it's close to the end of the month. Matter of fact, tomorrow is the end of the month, isn't it? Halloween, yes, it is. I'll be dressed as Bone Daddy tomorrow. We'll be working with our skeleton crew. <laughs> you know, so we'll have all that up here tomorrow. Bill Matthews, why is it at the end of the month it's time for people to close their house? Well, there's a thing called prepaid interest that people pay, and basically their closing costs are less if you close at the end of the month. Uh, you, when you have the closing like today, if you had, you don't have to pay interest, prepaid interest for today and tomorrow. Well, if you have the closing on Monday, you basically got to pay a whole month oh. of prepaid interest. But the thing is, if you close it on Monday, which is November, your first payment won't be due till January. So the ones that close and they don't really think about the prepaid interest, they're, they're lucky because they basically got two months off where they don't have to make a payment. People that close today, their first payment will be December 1st. When you make a mortgage payment, you pay in arrears. You pay for the month that just passed. A lot of people don't understand that. When you, you know, when you rent an apartment or a house, you pay at the first of the month, and it's for the month right, that's the coming month. up. But in mortgage payments, the payment that you pay on the first was for the previous month. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. So when it gets to payoffs, a lot of people think, well, my payoff is a month off. You know, we'll get them in there, and so then we have to, you know, get out the the payoff sheet and show it to them that, well, you know, the reason the reason you're paying a month more in interest is because when you make a payment, it's for the month that just passed. Now, what's the biggest thing that can go wrong at a closing? Oh, uh, you know, uh, there's there's all kinds of things that go wrong. Um, uh, you know, Tom's Tom's in the insurance business. Sometimes we won't have the won't have the right amount for the insurance, or we may not have proof of insurance. Uh, sometimes the the purchasers will bring a check for you know for the wrong amount. You know, now they make you have uh, uh, cashier's checks. If you came to the to the closing, you know, and brought a, a personal check, and let's say it's for ten thousand dollars, well, the bank will put a hold on that check for fourteen days. So you have to bring a cashier's check. Now, a lot of people in a small town, when you ask them to bring a cashier's check, they get offended because they say, well, you know me. You've yeah. known me your whole life. You know I'm good for it, but that's not the point. Yeah, I got the point you. is the bank, when I go to pause a check, they're going to put a hold on it because, see, when you write a personal check, you can cancel that check. You can stop payment on that check. But if you bring a cashier's check, you can't stop payment. Good information. So if somebody's out there wanting to close a the house, they need to get in touch with you now. Yes, sir. Located on the east side of the square, Bill Matthews, attorney at law, and does more than that, but closing is the number one thing, and he's a judge, too, so I feel your pain. Judge of Ardmore. Judge of Ardmore, feel your pain. That's right. What are you predicting on the game Saturday night? Well, I think uh, I what, I, what I'm hoping is that uh, Bo, you know, throwing that interception. Get bad, Bo. And then there's some, some arguments between the coach and Bo. I'm thinking that's going to, I'm hoping that helps Auburn, but I'm concerned about the the penalties that Auburn gets when it's crucial at the end of the game. You know, they got a couple against Spurrier, too. Uh, football season great this year. Yeah. We just hope we all can get in there. We can. All right, thank you, Bill. Hey, the other day, Saturday morning, Gloria and I rode down to near Swan Creek, just down near Tom's office on one side, Chick-fil-A on the other. The Lowe's people were down that way redoing the entrance, and it was all part of, I think, the Rotary Club from the uh, city of Athens. They were putting that on too. Matthew would Ma Matthew will be with us tomorrow. But Chick-fil-A will all be dressed up tomorrow Halloween. So y'all be sure to tune in tomorrow. It'll be a special edition. Here's some of that video of people working down at Swan Creek Trail. If y'all haven't been on it, you need to take a hike because it is, especially this time of year, absolutely beautiful. See y'all tomorrow on Halloween. So who's in charge? Kim. Yes. I, is is I think you're in charge. All right, what are y'all doing today? This is what we call the Lowe's Heroes Project. We go out in the community and just one project at a time, improving the community. So y'all got a full day of it, a half a day? Half a day. How many y'all had down here? We probably had, what? how many people's been down here, y'all? About 12? About 12 to 15. So y'all built this little gazebo? Well, this is what we do in an arbor. Okay. This is our arbor with a bench under that Chick-fil-A donated. Then we got a stretching station over here. And then we're doing flower beds up at the opening. And then we got a sign that we're going to get up there, but it's not made yet. And then we're going to do a couple of flower beds here at the opening. Well, it's going to look nice. We walk this all the time. Thank you. You're welcome.
Yeah. You're welcome, bless you. got on TV. We wanted you to. Thank <laughs> you. 